As you know, the world is controlled by these people called coders. The evil geniuses that program our phones, our cars, and the chips secretly implanted into all our skulls. Might not be true. We sent Kim Crossman to go meet them. <laughs> hey guys, Kim Crossman here, here, being the Worldwide Developers Conference in San Jose, where we caught up with some of the Kiwis who also made the pilgrimage. It's the big annual Apple event you saw in all those Steve Jobs movies, where the software giant unveils its new goodies to a salivating audience. Is it intimidating to be surrounded by 6,000 equally or more or slightly less intelligent people than you? Or is that exciting? Uh, no. <laughs> I think the longer you spend developing, the more you realise they're all a bit thick. Classic Kiwi response. But not every app developer in the world gets to flash their code here. Out of the hundreds of thousands who apply, just 6,000 get the knob. So this is your second, first time? First time ever, and, yes. and how do you feel about the Worldwide Developers Conference so far? There are a few things that I'd that I really like to try out. Yep. Um, is the, it Memoji? You want to make your own Memoji? Memoji was, is on my <laughs> list. Well, sure, everybody wants to hear more about Memoji's tongue detection. Now you can make your favorite emoji do this. Wellington's Pickpock is a software success story behind dozens of smartphone games. New Zealand is making it big on the little screen. There are about 600 or so developers, uh, individual developers in New Zealand uh, right now, and we're bringing in over $100 million in export revenue. Uh, so Before, take if, it down, if, that's if good you math. run the math... Yeah. $100 million a year? You could clean up a whole lot of meth houses with that. New Zealanders have this ability to create uh, content that, that is just consumed by all cultures across the world. So yeah, we are punching above our weight. Hopefully we can keep telling that story to the world. Good stuff. 